Rival Bro Mains. The very pinnacle of fans doing Intelligent System's job for them and making their vapid shill of a gacha game decently fun. Hi, I'm Choopy Choosy, back in the clack. You might remember me from such YouTube videos as Hector, Damn Near Killed Her, and Fire Emblem is Gay. Let me be the first to congratulate you, Mecha, on your plus 10 merged Amelia and your recent induction into the crossover co-op mayhem that is Rival Bro Mains. In this video, we'll go over how to get the most out of your Amelia on the Field of Destiny and get that Victory Royale! So let's get started, shall we? Amelia is a true all-rounder, with great stats in all areas save for her slightly below average resistance. Her key stats are Attack, Speed, and HP, which help her keep those passives procced and her ability to double down on lock. The main defining skill to consider here is her preferred weapon, the Grotto Poleaxe a mighty cleaver which grants plus 5 to both speed and defense during combat when field buffs are active on this unit. She'll be able to self-sustain this perf from the get-go thanks to armor boots, which allows her to move two spaces through plane and forest tiles as long as her HP is at 100% at the beginning of player phase. And if she happens to get chipped from a tussle or two, well, that's when the plus 6 in resistance from even Res Wave kicks in, patching up her vulnerability towards dragons and mages and keeping her weapon's passive ability procced at the same time. Yes, Amelia may be an independent woman, but that's not to say she doesn't appreciate a few helping buffs from her friends. Just be wary that if any of those buffs are reversed from panic status, Grotto's Polak's special ability will be disabled. Next, we'll talk about the best skill in the game. Pivot. Use this skill to leapfrog and project yourself to the front line. If there's a point to be choked, consider it chickened. You may find yourself in a situation without armor march or armor boots, and this active assist can help you stay mobile even with one space of movement. You can even use it on flying allies to move swiftly over rivers and mountain ranges. Hey now, that's pretty neat! Keep in mind the positioning of your teammates and the spacing required to stick the landing, and you'll be more mobile than even a cavalier promotion. Amelia's B skill is Special Fighter, a skill that only a few select speedy armors are able to leverage properly, and your girl more than makes the cut. As long as Amelia is at 23 HP or above, she will do two things during combat. Slow down the enemy's special cooldown by one, and speed up her own special cooldown by one with every exchange. As long as Amelia doubles the enemy, she's guaranteed to proc Aether. Mama Mia, now that's a spicy a meatball. And last, we have Distant Counter. What does this skill do? Well, it's not quite distant, and it's not quite a counter, but oh, man. <laughs> so to answer your question, I have no idea. All in all, you've got the complete package here, so don't be afraid to push some bravado with that grotto, and remember to have fun with it. Oh, and don't forget to tune into Rival Bro Mains this Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. Pacific, to see all your favorite Fire Emblem YouTubers duke it out on the Field of Destiny. I'm Chubby Choosy, and from all of us at Chazaria LLC, thank you, and stay frothy.